If there is a certainty in the AI world is that ZimWriter users just love ZimWriter. Welcome to Digital Toolcase. In this video I will talk about ZimWriter, this unique AI writing tool. And I say unique because this is not the classic online SAAS tool, but uh, you need to download ZimWriter, install ZimWriter on your Windows PC, and uh, you need to connect your OpenAI API key in order to write content. But uh, as I said, uh, people really like this tool because of the quality. This is the official Facebook group for ZimWriter, and uh, this is the page where you can know more about the ZimWriter and if you want purchase ZimWriter you can find the link in the description maybe you already know Matt Zimmerman maybe not he's a great guy and he's making the difference with this tool because it's the first you can use everywhere on your PC and he is uh, training in AI is what makes the difference and what makes uh, this tool to generate high quality articles for you. On this page, uh, on ranking tactics, uh, you can even find the prices for ZimWriter. I want to show you very quickly. You have uh, three different choices here. You can purchase a normal plan. This is a monthly plan for just $5.97. But here you will miss some futures of this tool. Uh, you have this uh, other plan, $9.97. You have more options. And then you have this lifetime deal. I highly suggest you to choose this lifetime deal because it will not stay here forever. And this is really, really, really worth it. But please note again, you are paying here just for the tool, just for the interface and the engine to produce content. But then you will need to connect your OpenAI uh, API key. So you need an account with OpenAI. You need to connect your credit card because uh, yes, when you subscribe, they give you $18 if I remember uh, to play with, but uh, you have some limitations in API calls. So if you want to take advantage of all the futures and you want uh, a higher speed in generating content, you need to connect your credit card to OpenAI. Anyway, I don't want to make a complete review of ZimWriter because this tool has many, many, many options. So it will take uh, really a long time anyway. If you like what you see in this video, I will write an article with ZimWriter, then you can subscribe to this official group on Facebook, you can purchase one of these plans and then you can check Ranking Tactics YouTube channel where Matt uh, gives all the details, uh, solves all the issues, gives many many tips uh, in uh, using uh, ZimWriter. So this is it. ZimWriter is this. This is the interface once you install the program and run it on your Windows PC. As you can see I have a paid account with OpenAI so I'm in fast mode. I set my command triggers because uh, you can use ZimWriter everywhere on your PC or online. For example I can open uh, a Google Sheet and use ZimWriter commands inside Google Sheets but I can also just open a notepad and use commands inside notepad. And this is just a quick example. This is an empty document with a notepad. I can just write a command. Let's say write three blog ideas for an article about washing fruits. I just need to select this text and then use my trigger. Is this one in this case magic command trigger control plus one. And the ZimWriter will execute my command. Perfect. So as you can see, I'm using my OpenAI API keys inside my Windows Notepad and I can use AI here or wherever I want. 
but this is not what I want to show you in this video. As you can see, you have many options here. You have an options menu where you can set many general things uh, and even the default GPT model you want to use. You can choose between text Da Vinci, GPT-4, if you have access to GPT-4 and the GPT-3.5 Turbo. You can change your triggers if you want. You have some advanced triggers and here is where you can save some default magic commands, for example, and other things. Again, I don't want to show you everything because you have many, many, many settings here, but you will find all what you need on the help documentation, on the Facebook group and on the Ranking Tactics YouTube channel. So these are the different things you can generate here with the Zimwriter. You have a local SEO buffet. If you have some kind of local business, you can generate one click blog posts. So you just need to insert your article title here and Zimwriter will generate an article for you. You have this bulk blog writer where you can insert many different titles, choose between uh, these options and then uh, you need to wait because in this case uh, the generation is not really so fast. This happens with any uh, bulk writing tool I tried. But uh, what I want to use uh, for this video is this SEO blog writer. I click here and now I need to choose uh, a bunch of things. First, I need to insert my blog title and in this case is this one. Should you wash fruits and vegetables before storing? I found this uh, long tail keyword online. Here I can uh, insert a global background. This is uh, something new for the new version 7 of uh, Zimwriter because now Zimwriter can scrape the web and uh, use information from other sites, from other URLs. This is not mandatory. If you don't want to scrape any URL, if you don't need to use uh, other sites content, you can leave this field blank. Just to show you how it works, uh, I will use one of the sites uh, for this uh, query. For example, I can use, uh, let's say, this one. Okay, so I will grab this URL in this example and paste it here. Now, I can choose how many subheadings I want for my article. Let's uh, keep uh, these five. And then I can choose different ways to generate my H2s. I can maybe generate an outline with another tool and then uh, use my outline by clicking this option one, copy H2 from clipboard. I can generate H2 using uh, only AI or I can use this option three, H2 from AI plus competition H2 and H3 and or global background. If you want to use uh, this option 3, you need to insert uh, some H2s and titles from the competition. I can find these using a phrase, for example, if I go here on my phrase research, uh, or I can even export my competitors H2s and H3s uh, using this export future. Now I have an Excel file with all my competitors' headers. Obviously, I just need to choose the most relevant ones. So just to show you an example, let's say I want to use these headings. I just need to copy them into here. Then I, I will use option two in this case, but just to show you how it works, I can insert my H2s from competitors and then click on this option number three. And as you can see, Zimwriter will start to generate my personal H2s. Perfect. Uh, now, as you can see, my URL has been scraped uh, and now it's not a URL anymore. It's uh, content. It's a summary of my URL. And this is uh, now my global background. 
let me see here these uh, H2s. So these uh, H2s comes from here and from here. Uh, now, I took some random H2s in this case. So just to show you, I can delete these. I will leave this global background because it's already scraped and I will use option 2 this time. You are about to overwrite all existing headings, yes. Perfect, now as you can see they changed and now I can choose if I want enable H2 background for each one of these H2s, I don't want a specific background in this case, but if you want you can even insert uh, background for every uh, H2, so you will have something really specific, how you like it. You can generate H3s for every uh, H2 if you want. This is not mandatory, but let's say I want uh, two H3s here. And as you can see here, you need to insert by yourself at the moment, these H3s, you can't generate them uh, with AI and you can even uh, generate some H4 if you want. Going down, step 5, configure options. And as you can see, now I have many, many options to configure here if I want to have a very good output. H2 section length. You can choose between tiny, short, medium and long. I will choose short in this case. You can choose a voice. You have these choices. Second person, I will use this one in this case. You can activate literary devices. This is something really cool because it can make your article even better. It uses 500 literary devices metaphors, smileys, etc. So let me just select these. I will check enable lists, enable tables for an article like this, enable FAQ because I also want an FAQ section. You can enable tease. This will write a short paragraph to tease the next H2. You can boost chance of detection as real. I will not use it in this case. You can disable skinny paragraphs. You can disable active voice. It's active by default. <laughs> the active voice is active and I will leave like that. You can choose an audience personality if you want. This is something quite complex, but Matt has a great video about these choices on his uh, YouTube channel. I will choose uh, every man. You can also write in the style of uh, someone. Uh, this is an example, Al Capone. Or you can choose this auto style. It means in the style of the most trusted person to write about the article. Let's try to use it. You can choose best of two. This will uh, uh, double your cost and your token usage with OpenAI. You can translate in another language, but it works better with GPT-4 if you want. And then you can even insert keywords. And this is why I opened this uh, query even with the phrase, because I want to insert all these LSI words into my article so uh, we can generate an SEO optimized article with uh, uh, Zim writer. So let me copy them here in a, a list format, or you can copy them with a comma separated list. And Zim writer will try to insert uh, all these keywords uh, into my content. You can even choose how many keywords you want uh, for every H2. I will leave this five just to try. You can even choose automatic keywords if you don't have a list like this. And then here I need to simply choose the AI model I want to use. You can choose between text DaVinci 003, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. It's the cheapest one, so I will choose this one in this case. Let me check my uh, OpenAI usage for uh, this month and today it's uh, uh, 0.006498. This is what I generated 
with uh, my uh, H2s, uh, in this example, uh, with these uh, outputs. So we can then see how much it will cost uh, to generate an article uh, with the GPT 3.5 Turbo with uh, ZimWriter. Then I just need to click on this button, in this case, uh, Start SEO Writer plus Scrape uh, URLs. And ZimWriter will start to generate my article. As you can see, it's working here on my bottom right corner of the screen. I will speed up the video until it's finished. Okay, ZimWriter just finished to write my article. When it writes, uh, it's working on the background, so in the meantime, you can even use your PC, obviously, and once this article is finished, uh, it's automatically saved in my folder where I have ZimWriter installed in this output folder. Here it is, my article. I have uh, an estimated cost of $0.04. My article is 1,719 words. Let me check here on my OpenAI uh, account if uh, this is correct. Okay, this is uh, the correct amount, 10 cents uh, to generate uh, all what you see in this video. Now I will copy all this content uh, because I want to make it easier to read. And then I'll paste it here in this uh, Google Sheet. Now, as I always do lately, I will scroll this article so you can uh, see by yourself uh, the quality and decide if you like it. Let me make it bigger so you can read it better. This is the introduction. Then I have uh, benefits of washing produce, uh, risks of uh, washing produce, uh, tips for washing produce and benefits of not washing produce. Again, tips for storing produce. Then I have my FAQ section. Can washing produce before storing it cause it to spoil faster? Should you wash all types of produce before storing or only certain kinds? As you can see, these FAQs are focused on my uh, query, on my topic. Does the temperature of the Rhine's water make difference in how effectively produce is cleaned? And then I have my other FAQs here and I have a conclusion. I don't see any table in this case, uh, but uh, probably because uh, in this article it uh, doesn't make sense to have uh, some kind of table. Anyway, when you check the table and the list, uh, usually you also can have tables and list. It's not uh, guaranteed. It generates uh, tables and lists, uh, obviously, if it makes sense for your topic and your article. Now let's do this uh, a check into phrase. Let me copy here my article. I want to see uh, my SERP score, in this case, here in the optimize section, 73, absolutely not bad. I like in this conclusion that you have a definitive answer. So should you wash fruits and vegetables before storing them? Absolutely. <laughs> I like this conclusion way better than many other tools, to be honest. I want to also try AI detection. As I always say, I don't mind about this, but I know many of you are concerned, are still concerned about AI detection and uh, it's not bad at all in this case 81% uh, for uh, content at scale AI detector and I don't have any paid uh, 
plagiarism checker but i can try to use one of the free ones i suppose i have a limit of uh, words so let me get rid of some text just to try okay i don't expect uh, any issues about uh, uh, plagiarism but uh, we can try with this free one Okay, as you can see with this free uh, plagiarism checker, I have a 98 unique article, you may say uh, this is not uh, trustable, maybe, but uh, I think uh, it's a good test, the only part uh, is uh, plagiarized is the title, <laughs> because I uh, found this keyword and obviously there will be uh, other articles with the same title so uh, this is quite uh, correct uh, so this is how you write an article with zim writer and obviously if you choose another ai model so for example uh, davinci 003 or gpt4 you will have a different output obviously gpt4 is uh, very very good but it's uh, way slower and you will spend more money and as you can see i spent 10 cents to generate this uh, article 1719 words uh, with uh, faqs uh, and uh, a really good formatted article with the short paragraphs uh, it's uh, readable easily readable you can judge by yourself and again you can find the link in the description if you like the idea of having a tool like this uh, you can use it on your windows pc a mac version will come in the future but it's not here at the moment you can choose between these two monthly plans but please note here you will not have some of these futures i highly suggest you to choose the lifetime deal it will increase its price for sure or maybe it will go away so if you like it take advantage right now of this zim writer lifetime deal this was just an example not a really complete review because as i showed you there are many other things you can use here in this zim writer but again go on the ranking tactics youtube channel and you will see many videos about all the zim writer futures i hope this video was helpful if so please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and as always i'll see you soon in the next video